Hello beautiful people and a special hi to my mum. Happy Mother's Day. Okay, so it's a day early when this video goes up, but I always have to have my videos come out on a Saturday and not a Sunday. It's close enough. <laughs> okay, so this year I was actually quite organized and I was able to order my mother a gift online and it's arrived. Yay! So I'm really glad about that. The postal service at the moment in any country is pretty dodgy, I would say, and my mum lives in New Zealand. I was also born in New Zealand and grew up there, but I've lived in Australia for almost half of my life now, would you believe? But yes, it's annoying. My mum was meant to come over last month in April for a visit for a couple of weeks. And of course, with all of this coronavirus nightmare, she had to can that idea and stay home. New Zealand went into stage four lockdown, so they weren't even able to buy stuff like takeaways or anything like that. So they've managed to go back into stage three restrictions now, which is great because I was able to order online a gift for her from a local store. And I am so bummed that we didn't get to catch up. It's been ages. It's been, I don't know, about more than a year since we've seen each other. So I'm really, really hoping that sometime in the not too distant future the borders between Australia and New Zealand would open once again and I will either be able to go over there or she will come here. So in the meantime I hope you have a really lovely day mum and I found you something else <laughs> while I was out at the supermarket. Check it out. <laughs> I love you, Mum. But I thought I would paint this today. It's a paint your own plate. And it was in Coles, which is uh, one of the supermarkets we have here in Australia. And I saw it just as we were wandering out to pay for our groceries. And so I thought it would be really fun to do. It's so lame. Oh my God, look at the back of it. Ah, uh, there's more of those paints. And I'm like, really? These paints are going to work on ceramic? Mm, I don't know about that but it comes with six acrylic, presumably acrylic paints. I don't think these are ceramic. A really crappy looking brush, which obviously is not going to cut it for this, and a plastic palette, which I might actually use. Thankfully, there was also another little art shop that's open because in Australia we're on level three restrictions where some shops are still able to remain open. And I got these ceramic paints. So I'm going to use these to paint this plate. Won't that be fun? <laughs> I've scraped the bottom of the barrel here, but that's all I've got. <laughs> and anyway, it's a homemade gift, even if I can't give it to you right now, Mum. Okay, so let's move on down to the desk and I'll see if I can paint this thing and not make it look like a five-year-old did it. <laughs> it probably will. <laughs> so here we have the box with paint your own plate on it. But I was amused when I was looking at the back of it. It's got a 21 centimeter porcelain P-L-A-Y-T-E. Is that Australian? Is that supposed to be ployed? Point your own plight. And they've also spelled palette wrong. That's not how you spell that kind of palette, which is a P-A-L-E double T-E. <laughs> So we're already off to a brilliant start here. For decorative use only, not suitable for food contact. Oh, well, that's just brilliant, isn't it? So basically, it's a plate that you can't eat off. Nice one. All right, let's get into it. Ooh, it actually opened really easily for a change. Here's the little plastic palette. That is ridiculously adorable, I have to say. How cute! The plate. Hand wash only, decorative use only, made in China. Oh, isn't that just the most awesome plate you've ever seen in your life? Is that even centered? This piece up here around here looks narrower than this part down here. And what else have we got in here? Oh, there is a box. I didn't think they actually had the paints in, but they do. They're in this tiny little container here. Scramble, scramble. Yeah. <laughs> that is worst brush ever. 
I mean, seriously, how can you expect people to paint something, especially if this is aimed at children who maybe do not have the finer motor skills developed yet? How can you expect them to do something even decent with that? So yeah, that's just out of here. That's on the floor. And, ah, uh, stubborn things. We have some colours. Would you believe they are exactly the same colours as what comes in here? So you've got your primaries. There's always a green for some reason. And a white and a black. Maybe these would work. Because you do have to bake this in the oven. But I'm not really going to take a chance. And I'm going to use paints that are specially formulated for painting porcelain. And glass and things like that. Alright, so I've got the paint pots out. Oh, aren't they adorable? It's so itty bitty. The brand is Montmartre, which is an Australian company, and I've featured their watercolour paint palette a while ago on one of my videos. I would consider them, for the most part, fairly budget art supplies, although recently they have been getting into things which are a little bit more higher market, probably because the demand is that we want good products, not you know, substandard crappy ones. <laughs> so they've been responding really well to that and I have to give them credit that their products seem to be a lot better than they used to be. The colours I was not super keen on just because they are a bit loud and kind of, I mean look at that, how bright that yellow is. So I will probably end up using a lot of this white to uh, light and everything. I would have loved to have gotten a pastel set but there was just nothing out there and right now beggars can't be choosers. I was lucky to find anything and hopefully this will turn out to be not too hideous. It's annoying that you can't eat off it but whatever. Okay I will um, get to painting and we'll see how we go. Well I lost some of the footage. I'm off to a great start. Here we go. I ended up adding white in with some of the paints and I put them in the little palette and I can tell you now that this entire thing was pretty much a disaster. The paints were really difficult to use and as you can see here I was trying to get a gradient effect and they just would not blend together. It was so frustrating but I did the best I could with the paints. They weren't really very good. They were kind of like really transparent and that purple was hideous. I could not get a decent purple out of this set unfortunately but they were really transparent and as soon as you started painting they kind of kept coming off the plate so I ended up just having to blob it on with the brush in order to not get streak marks in it and I actually did end up using some of the acrylic paints because I noticed later that the blue in the acrylic was much darker as was the green and I was really stuck for colours to actually use on this plate so I've just gone around and painted the opposite flowers in the same sorts of colour combinations and I mixed up a, a fairly decent pink here which was actually good. <laughs> I found though that the difference between acrylic paints that came in the little pots and the ceramic paints is that the ceramic paints are far glossier when they dry whereas the acrylic paints dry really matte so there are a few discrepancies on the plate but it's not so noticeable in this video so we'll just pretend that's not the case <laughs> and I went with the colours I had. I was sorely wishing that I had a magenta so that I could mix a purple or even better an actual purple paint. That would have been really great too. But no I was fairly limited and the greens were pretty acidic looking. And here I completely forgot my opposites so really the flower that's next to the pink flower up the top that's not been painted yet should have been the one that was green but never mind I just kept going because I was getting frustrated with it and I just wanted to get it done because sometimes you just need to see something to the end even though you know it's not going to be very good I mean it's not the worst thing ever but yeah 
<laughs> it's not exactly what I would call a masterpiece. What is with that purple? I tried to mix the darker blue with red and that was also completely hopeless. I guess overall the colours look really bright on the plate, so that's a positive in its favour. But otherwise I think the design was quite limiting as well. I mean it's not terrible, but really I was quite tempted just to paint over the entire thing and then paint the whole plate in colours. And that might be something I do later on is find a plain white porcelain plate and just paint the entire thing. That would be, I think, a lot more fun. I mean, this was relatively fun. It's just that the paints were frustratingly difficult to use and you can see I put way too much there and I had to clean it off because it started running down the plate. I thought about doing different colours around the dots but in the end I just went with red because why not? And this is the finished plate. Isn't it gorgeous? Once it had dried I then put the oven on to 140 degrees Celsius and baked the plate for about half an hour. Or at least that's what the instructions said on the ceramic paint box. The actual plate said to do it for 20 minutes at 150, but I decided to cook it slightly cooler for slightly longer. So there it goes in the oven, and I let it cool down thoroughly once I took it out. Well, that was fun. Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh dear, oh dear. Well, they say it's the thought that counts. Slight disaster, well, unmitigated disaster is probably the words that I would use there. But anyway, I have a plate and I can't eat off it. And I think I think we are never going to speak of this again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Disaster that it was. Take care out there. I'll swatch you later. Bye!